Hi, I know you are familiar with this website, ISA Square JC. If someone is studying cybersecurity or is someone going to study cybersecurity, is someone willing to do a free certification, the paid one, SSC fees, SSP, like they know this website. Right now, you know, a lot of people doing the ISA Square CC exam, and which is free right now, and they have to use the voucher code. And uh, I'm gonna show you like. Uh, how people got a voucher code like uh, maybe you get to know about uh, okay so the reason use the record to know is square cc extended their free exam period which is december 2024 so if anyone who already did the test and failed in the exam if they are willing to do it they still can do that okay the first thing i'm gonna show you how i'm going to get the is square voucher did you see that what is the voucher code for is square free certification when you click that you got the code okay let's start to uh, let's talk about is square Mm, what else I have to talk because the exam is free they are giving the contents to watch like a uh, tutorial contents and they give some free notes okay I'll show you I'm going to download the free notes from uh, internet so everybody got to know about Mike Chappell's LinkedIn course which is familiar at the moment see so i just click that uh, is square free notes and you get the reddit one and when you open the reddit you get this it's i think it's a uh, 139 pages which is good and then uh, if you go down so you get some study material which is useful for you like uh, chapter one chapter two domain chapter which i already downloaded and uh, I have to go through it. Only a few pages have some content about. If you guys studied about uh, security plus, you are you get to know about these things because both are similar. But this exam, um, I have to tell you this. I failed in this exam because I thought it's based on um, cyber security, like it's equal to security plus. But when I went there, the questions are like. Uh, mostly based on CASSP I'm not sure I'm new to this and I tried this test a lot of my friends they cancelled it and they don't want to go there so some people got the pass marks some people got failed but me I have the bad luck I went there uh, it took me around one hour to reach the spot after the long traffic okay so these are the pages that I referred but I would say no because the contents are like uh, if you notice that it tells about CIA triad confidentiality protect the data that needs so it's basic concept about what is CIA triad and uh, risk management process but you know how the question that they asked me I'll show you one sample question based on chat GPT So some question I got something like this, but so this is how I got the questions and uh, I had hundred questions out of hundred I have to pass. I have to make it right around 70 question which I tried my best but I couldn't pass and I got something like below proficiency below proficiency for each domain they considered about each domain so it is not something like you will get the overall mark is 700 out of 1000 no you know um, when I get the result 
uh, the lady she printed the paper and it's showing me like domain one below proficiency domain two below proficiency which means so every test have some requirement like you have to get an 18 mark and something like that wait i will show you not this outline pdf yeah see so domain one you have to get 26 percentage domain two you have to get 110 percentage so you have to get like it's something like if you got something 17 percentage which you have like a below proficiency or nearby like that so they mark based on what weightage that that you got in a, each domain so i just showed you like uh, how you are going to get a free voucher code and a study material but i would suggest you are not supposed to read this only if you are new to cyber security i would say you have to go through the book which is $24 for PDF and $40 you have to pay for it. I would say you have to go with the book because I tried with this content. If you are new to cyber security, this won't help you to come pass the exam. And uh, maybe you get you can learn from ChatGPT like uh, next next you will get to know about what is the right answer sometimes it will work but uh, it will repeat the same questions Sorry for the spelling mistake because it will understand. So these questions are all look like uh, basic questions. I got the, I got this question and uh, this one they asked indirectly like uh, um, why do we use uh, introduction reduction system that's how it is so anyway so you are going if you are new to cyber security if you feel confident with this material it's not easy to pass the exam because the questions are mostly based on like uh, um, if you read the CSSP, you, you don't know anything about it because it's all about GRC, right? The same way, these questions they are, which they ask, it's completely like uh, they give you like a real-time environment questions. I would suggest buy a book. That's what I planned. I booked the exam for uh, June 20, which is good for me. Like I can go on Saturday or Sunday, June 23 actually. So Mike Chappell, everybody's following these notes and uh, there's one YouTube channel which uh, which helps you to know about uh, how to how the questions looks like. Prab Nair, I was watching this video around 2 a.m. in the morning but still I could incomplete the exam. Okay, I'll show you this. Sorry for the advertisement. Okay. So, okay, if you look at this question, see. When virtual machines are constructed and destroyed in elastic computing, I haven't received this question. I want to 
like uh, this is no these questions are all from chat gpt i would say and most of the important uh, isc square have a separate topic called code of ethics um wait i can show you something so this is the one is square have a code of ethics they will ask two questions they asked me two questions which is based on these uh, nine topics so basically it comes just four this is the only four for now i would say like you have to focus this four so this this one question it will be confirmed see if you note this is square code of ethics is a set of principles standard that all members of is square including cissp are expected to adhere here's an overview of is square code of ethics so one question it will come from this it's i'm sure because my friend got this i got this and uh, some of the people got this so but i can't uh, guess all the questions i'm not a photographic person okay so i think i covered enough the video is around 11 minute it's almost uh, 2 am in the morning i would say if you are preparing try to buy a book or buy the pdf which is good for you and uh, every library have a the printing machine you can which you can print at the moment because if you are in toronto you can go to any uh, i think some library have the free printing you can go and print it and then it's good but still you have to buy the pdf maybe if you got it for free it's good maybe share with me my name is akbar at gmail.com the name don't have e bye bye